Hey guys, so we have been touring the US in our travel trailer that we have previously showed you. And we had made it to San Diego and we were invited out by a friend to tour his boat. We've actually been trying to get aboard this boat for over a year now, but then COVID kind of, you know, Ruined happened. those plans. <laughs> but this boat is actually not for sale but it is a really cool boat that I think you guys will like to see. The owner, Archie, is super proud of his vessel and he wanted us to show it off to you guys. So it's a 62 foot Bill Lapworth designed cutter. It's a one-off. It was built in 1967 by Vancouver Shipyards and it is fully timber. So out of sheer coincidence, we were in the area for the San Diego Wooden Boat Festival and Titania, Archie's boat, was in the show. So it ended up working out really well. So without further ado, here is a tour of Sailing Yacht Titania. Morgan's taking a nap. I'm gonna do the deck tour while she does that. So we're gonna go aft. We've got this big aft deck back here because this is a center cockpit boat. Dinghy on davits, that's an OC tender. Solar panels on the davits, turn it forward. Looking forward from the aft deck. We got this big hard top right here that the current owner has put on. It's got tons of solar on that as well as the solar we just saw. There's a hatch to get to the aft cabin down here. But that's not the main entrance. We've got bronze door aids all along the coach roof. Big Lumar winches, teak decks are in really good shape. And this is a fully wooden boat. And we've got the center cockpit right here, but we're gonna go forward first. Looks like this boat has rod rigging. Here's the mast right here. And I believe just like everything else, I believe that's wood. Looking up the mast. Got a radar right there and a huge mainsail in a stack pack. You do have to raise that mainsail from right here. And we've got a massive forward deck here. Hank on, staysail, big bronze windlass with stainless steel chain. Electric furling headsail, massive stainless anchor right there. Turn it aft. This is just a pretty, pretty boat. It's definitely a work of art. Just wait till you see down below. Let's go aft. I just want to say, like, having this huge foredeck here with really not very much to trip you is really nice. Lots of usable space. Nice and safe. Look at that happy baby. <laughs> Alright, so we've got four big winches here. 
And we've got the cockpit and another big winch right there. So a nice center cockpit covered by this, which the current owner has added, this hard top. And let's take a look at that. So we've got tons of solar on this hard top. And then obviously lots of shade for that cockpit. Let's take a look at the helm station. All right, and we've got brand new wind instruments and electronics up here. Nice big helm, bronze compass, and then look at that view forward. Awesome 360 degree views. Obviously very comfortable. Yep. Nice and protected. Very nice. Something that I really like about the hard top that they put in is that they put in these hatches so that you have plenty of view of your sails and everything while you're underway. So I think that was a really nice touch. So not only do you have like the protection of the solar panels, you still have view. We're gonna go ahead and walk you through the inside. We have come down the companionway and on your port side is the galley. It is basically like a horseshoe shape. So it has a lot of counter space over here where you've got your cooler area as well as your microwave and induction cooktop. So it's actually all electric, which is amazing. You can see all the woodwork leading to what I think is a very interesting feature. It has a wooden sink. That is so cool. All of the sinks on this boat are wood. So there's two heads as well, and they're all wood. So on the starboard side, when you come through the companionway, you have your nav station. So you have a dedicated forward-facing nav station and access to all your electronics panels as well. And all of the electronics have been redone by the current owner right now. So under the floorboards here, right next to the galley, we've got all of the lithium battery bank right there, as well as AGMs down below, I believe. As a redundant backup. 17 kilowatts of battery power. It's a lot of power. But that's going to power induction cooktop, microwave. So there's no propane on this boat. Heading forward, you are going into the settee area, the main salon. So nice big main salon. The standing headroom in here is insane. I don't think I've ever seen. I literally cannot reach the top of the cabin. So plenty of headroom. The woodwork is just beautiful. <laughs> this whole boat has been completely redone. So this area of the boat does have a lot of natural lights. There's ports on both sides that are not opening. And then forward facing, you have opening ports, which would allow for good ventilation through the companionway. So going forward of the main Salon. We've got two pipe berths here. Looking to port. We've got a large head again with that wooden sink. It's a good amount of storage in the bathroom. Stepping out. The one thing is when this boat was refit, it was not refit by the current owner. But when it was refit, it was refit to be a day sailor. So because of that, you know, there's a little bit of kind of wasted opportunity, I guess, a little bit. But for a cruiser, there's not a heck of a lot of storage on this 62 foot boat. And in the four peak, we've got more berths, chain, anchor chain, and then there is a berth on that side as well. But as you can see, this is kind of being used as some storage because this boat is being lived aboard right now. So as Jordan mentioned, the current owners are live aboards and they are chronicling their adventures on Instagram. You can follow them. We'll put a link down below in the video description. I did want to point out the beautiful woodwork on the cabin sole as Definitely. well. In the doors. 
All right, so we are moving aft again. We've already shown you the main salon, the galley, and the nav station, but we can go below the cockpit, I guess is the best way to describe it. So we see the cockpit there, we're gonna go below on the starboard side to get to the aft cabin. And we're gonna go through the engine room, really. Yeah, I guess that would be an easier way to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> but take a look at this engine room, guys. So we've got our Perkins diesel right here. Lots of space. Here on the starboard side, we've got an outboard motor with the mount. And then all of the Victron Energy components that the current owner has added. Down here, you can see the construction of the hull. This is inch and a half thick mahogany planks. Very robust. All right, Randy and the baby are on deck right now. We've got Stash the Cat down here. Helping me out with this tour. We're gonna go into the aft cabin now. And you do have to kind of duck your head through here. It is a little small, but once you get in, you can stand straight up. And again, just beautiful woodwork all around. This is an awesome bunk because you can lay across athwart ships while you're at anchor. While you're on a passage, you can lay on either side, obviously as well so really good design so that's where i came from we've got a locker to starboard and to port we've got a wet head again with that wooden sink so cool all right guys i'm up here in the forward section of the boat and we're going to do the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern all right, so this is the forward cabin right here. Again, you guys can see that on each side you've got a pilot berth, turn it aft. Closing that door, we've got that little section right there. There is a little settee right there. We've got two more pilot berths, some bunks. We've got the forward head. going aft got our main salon area big main salon beautiful woodwork all right and then we've got the galley support right there companion way Ladder. Nav station. Forward facing nav station. Going aft. Got this massive engine room. I love this engine room. There's the Perkins. Motor maker back there. We're going into the aft cabin. Looking aft, we've got our locker right there and then our aft head. And that's it guys. Beautiful boat, beautiful work of art. First of all, we wanted to say a big thank you to both Archie and Josh for letting us aboard your vessel. Yeah, it was an awesome boat and their Instagram is going to be in the description below. So what do you think, Randy? You want to get a big wooden boat now? It's a little intimidating, the <laughs> amount of maintenance that that might take, but uh, it definitely was a beautiful vessel. What was your favorite part? Just the overall craftsmanship of the woodwork, just the joinery, even the handrails that went along the whole vessel. You could see just in the curves, the amount of work that went into that, it was all very meticulous. The sinks were just beyond meticulous. Yeah. I don't know how you even do that, but. Yeah, and I mean, this boat was refit somewhat recently, not by Archie, but by the owner before him. And I believe he said that owner put like almost a million dollars into it, into refitting this boat. Although he refitted it as a day sailor, 
did a beautiful job, <laughs> yes. you know. Yes, the quality of the work was definitely above par. <laughs> <laughs> so it's definitely a unique vessel and I think she is in good hands. Archie went and redid the power aboard. You know, there's no propane. There is only the diesel motor, but everything's run off electric, including the cooking. There's a ton of solar. I love the contrast between like the modern electronics and the lithium batteries on a really old wooden vessel, which is, you know, ancient technology essentially. So it's just really cool. So just as much as we can appreciate the previous owner's work in refitting the boat, we can see that Archie and Josh both care a lot about their vessel and are putting in a lot of time and effort to make her perfect and live aboard friendly now. Definitely. And they plan to set sail and cast off the lines, you know, now. So they're going cruising, which is awesome to see. Before we end this video, I do want to apologize for the kind of radio silence. We haven't uploaded a video in a while. And that's because we've just been incredibly busy on our road trip. But, you know, we're going to try to get to some more editing. It's just been tough to find the time because we've been moving so fast. Yes. We did, however, film seven boat tours, including this one. So we do have some content. She keeps dropping her teether. It's definitely an adventure doing all of this. And then you add the baby on top of it. So, <laughs> so actually, if you look behind us, you can see we've gone from Florida all the way to California, Nevada. We are currently in Oregon, so we need to yeah. scratch that off. And tomorrow we'll be in Washington. So it's been kind of a rush. That's why there's not been a lot of editing happening. But there will be soon, hopefully. And we should get some more boat tours on the East Coast. But we've got a lot of content coming your way and we're excited about it. We're also going to do probably a vlog or two of the trip, not, you know, related to boat tours, but yeah. Anything else you want to say? She's getting tired and it's her bedtime. It so. is her bedtime, so she is like ready to sleep. I think that's it, right? I think so. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to follow along with our journey. And if you want to know each and every time we upload a video, go ahead and hit that notification bell. See you guys. Bye. I've got it right and I got it wrong. But I learned my lesson hanging on. Come sit here.